Okay, I think I'm live and everything seems to be working. Welcome back to my second interview of the Miskaline call. The first interview I did, some people got very displeased about. Um, I got one comment which is good for the volume of this channel, telling me that my um, review was too short and that I needed to do better. So here I am again. I'm going to try and review the Misc Reliant Core for what it actually is. Um, so, I'm actually a Misc fan, it may not seem like it, I'm just, I prefer to have a brutally honest take about the um, position of ships within Star Citizen. Last time I played this game, it was actually 3.17, I did take a break from playing, just because I got a little bit fed up with the state of the game, and I just got a bit bored, so I chose to play other games. So, right away, we're just going to take a nice little look at this ship. Uh, I say from the front, this ship actually looks really cool. The blue on it is really nice. It kind of complements the silver. It's actually on this ship. It's got two remote turrets, as you can see. It's got a nice dual landing gear system with a wide as hell front. It's got two guns here on here, both sides. It's a very symmetrical ship. Now moving on to the back. We have here, we have our two engine and we have our ramp access. So, if I just go to the front for you very quickly. You can see that we actually can't get in from the front, but this, generally speaking, isn't a problem because of how close the actual cockpit is from this doorway here. So, as we are looking inside here, we have a nice ramp access. The animation to actually get in is really nice. One thing I don't like about the outside before we move on is this type of scratched paint. It does look a bit like a tin can, but moving on swiftly, we're going to go up into this main area here. So, the one thing that I do definitely like about this is that the sound of the Mr. Reliant Core is no longer screaming in my eardrums. I believe that that has been an amazing update if they actually have done this for the Mr. Reliant Core. We're going to go swiftly on and we're going to close this. We're just going to watch the animation. So we have a lovely animation here. This is what we call the ramp access. So the Reliant, the Reliant Core is actually the um, mainstream variety of the MISC ships. It's not for cargo, it's not for anything. So it just features, I believe it's something really small like a 9 or a 6 SU cargo space in the back there for any cargo that you actually do want to ship. Obviously I, I pledged the MISC Reliant Core. I'm a really big fan of the MISC Reliant Core but it is definitely buggy right now in 3.18 which is what I'm playing. So to move here we've got this nice little access point here. I'm just going to check whether I can... So... Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we can access the access points right now. It's a shame, unless I'm missing something. I will just double check everywhere. No, it doesn't look like we can access the access points, which is a shame. We have our ramp access over here to get back out, or you can simply hover over there. Nice fire extinguisher, but I do like the feel of this ship so far. The inside does look really lovely, and it's no longer screaming in my eardrums. So we're going to the cockpit. It's a lovely cockpit view here, nice back door view, and we have our seats which are pulled to release and they come to the front. So the pilot seat is on the left, the co-pilot on the right. Now if we go even to the, co the pilot seat even, you can see that it gives us a nice view. So you can see these are our screen monitors above, if I just select this. So we have our lovely screen monitors below, and uh, below, I don't think we have anything, we'll just double check after I hit flight ready. So this gives you flight ready, really nice animation. Miss Reliant Core, systems on, perfect. So now you can see, got a nice ship. It is currently in VTOL landing mode. So as you probably know, the MISC ships, they have two different forms. Their engine, no, their engines, the wings actually flip. So from this, they flip to that while keeping the side straight. It's actually quite buggy, but I'm actually gonna show you what I mean when we come off for takeoff today, right now even. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna request liftoff. If I can. Sorry, I haven't played in a minute. But uh, I'm going to go to the spaceport. It's really quick. Um, really quick ship. I love this ship. And I actually spawned in Microtech right now because I really do like the feel of Microtech. So we're going to get out of here very quickly. I have no idea what's going on or why my ship's foggy, but... We're just going to continue on our day. And um, we're just going to press K. So K is actually a button that is used on my keyboard. I don't know whether you've got your buttons different. And it doesn't seem to work. Is it K? Is it N? 
it's N. Okay, so I press N and the ship turns into this. This is actually a really nice look and feel of a ship. This is why I bought the Misk Reliant Core. That's why I'm such a big fan of the Misk Reliant Core. Because look how cool that is. It feels like I'm driving a ship out of Star Wars. I'm not going to lie to you here. If we go into first person view. You can see that our co-pilot actually sits underneath us. I will just double check that. And turn on my thrusters because we will be leaving. So you can see on my screen, we've got a co-pilot seat underneath. Uh, the one thing that you about this is that you actually can't get out of the seats while you're in here, which is, to be honest with you, understandable if you do take a look. You can see that the door is rather sideways, but it is definitely an annoying feature and it will definitely discourage some people from buying it. I am now going to do this. As you can see, we're hitting a 200 speed and we're going to increase it because of gravity. We're just going to bloop as we get into our outer atmosphere. Once we do get out of atmosphere, I'm literally just going to travel to another planet just so I can get out of the ship and explore a bit more on the outside and just go to the current box of it in 3.18 just so you know before you buy. Now, me personally, I absolutely love this ship. It is one of my favourite ships. Even if it does have bugs, I'm willing to ignore them just because the state of this ship is really cool for me. As you can see, we have four guns here and then we have two M3As. I believe those are missiles. Um, I can't really remember. Um, if you're watching this video, then you probably know and you Google is free. So I'm really, really sorry. I should have put on autopilot and I'm drinking Mountain Dew now. It's a bit of a mess, this review, but overall I think it's better and it's understanding. It's more for the look and the feel of the ship than for the weapons, because if you're choosing to get a misc core, not only is it more of a starter ship, it's a solo ship and it's also um, not very good for much. It can definitely it can definitely hold its ground, but it will die against something that is bigger, most definitely. So if you like a really cool styles looking ship, this is your ship. Let's go to um MICL1. Just because I really want to show everyone. Okay, the G Force is really not my friend today. There we are. Now I'm gonna try and remember which button was autopilot. Wasn't Z, wasn't X. Okay, my steering has bugged. Okay, it's unbugged itself by pressing F. Right. Um we're just gonna put our thrusters right down to zero and try and float in space. Just gonna make sure that I believe my speed okay, my speed's at zero. What I'm going to do here is, I'm just going to show you, give you a nice little look around. So we obviously have our two sides of the wall here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press N. And you'll see it rotate. Into a position where you can go. Out of the ship. Now, biggest bug of this ship, and something that you really have to keep in mind of if you do buy this ship, okay? Is this bug here. They didn't fix this in 3.17, they didn't fix this in 3. 3.17.5. Sorry, too many points there for my brain speak. So here's the bug, all right? We all ready? Three, two, one, sprint at the doorway and wish you have left the building. I really hope I have a helmet on right now. And my sensitivity is low. But let me check. Okay, I've got a helmet on, so we are going to actually survive this interview. Interview? But um, anyways, um, let me just find out which side is the top side first. Uh, that's the ramp. That is my thrusters. So, here's the top side of the ship. You can actually get a better look at that. Uh, am I upside down? Yes. So, here's a nice little view of what it looks like. Obviously, I can't show you what it looks like when it folds outwards because um, it doesn't let me out the seat. But, it is a really cool view. As you can see, I would have liked it if... They made it so you can actually go and sit in these two turrets here instead of just made them remote because they really missed out a point of action of the ship. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back in the ship and I'm going to show you what the remote turrets... Oh god, my camera. Oh, this is up. Okay. It's actually worked first time, which is really rare. Lucky. This interview's a mess. But I'm just going to post it and edit it because at the end of the day, the more raw it is, the better in my opinion. 
Um, let me get up. Okay, so we're now back in our ship. We have a crash landing, but you can't have it all here. Let's go into the co-pilot seat, and I'm going to show you what it looks like to have the remote turret down. If it would let me use my mouse. Let me hit power on. So this is what the remote turret looks like. It says ESP active, gyro modes staggered. Um, let me try and find the ship. Okay, I can't find the ship. But anyways, we have our badges. Let's go pew pew. Very nice. Do not unfortunately have access to the missiles, but the badges are pretty cool. So what would I rate this ship? I would rate this ship a... On the looks wise, I'd rate this ship a 6 out of 10. On a actual... um. What's it called? Where like you actually, you can actually, on the ship that's like usable, this ship is like a one out of ten. On the um, the looks wise, like the functionality of the ship, that the functionality is the usability. On the looks wise, I'd give the ship a eight out of ten, and I think it's really cool that you can do Star Wars type beat ship within the ship. I just don't think that the glitches are really susceptible to actually play the game in a misc block or state. But in the future. I will still be owning this ship. I will still definitely pledge it. I don't think I'm going to melt it. If I do melt it, I'll buy the MISC fighter types and all of that. But thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video where I will probably review the Nomad, which will be right after this. Thank you. Goodbye.